Welcome to Lightspeed, my name is Nick. In this video I'm going to tell you about the Lightspeed K-Series POS system and we'll focus on how it works for fast food outlets such as restaurants with counter sales, bars, cafes or food trucks. In this video we will discuss the following points, the general appearance of the cashier system, some user functions of the cash register, order taking in quick service mode on site or to takeaway and delivery, and an overview of the reports. Let's get started. We are on the opening screen and we're about to start our day. We need a certain user right to start our service. When we start the service, we can enter our impressions of the day that is about to begin by giving an indication with the number of stars, the current weather and free notes. For example, if we wanted to take note of a public holiday that would probably affect sales volume, we can enter it here. Now that our session is open, our manager is identified. Let's start another staff member shift by clicking on the clock in or clock out button at the bottom left. Accounts can be secured either by PIN codes like Peter's account or by QR codes like John's account, so that users cannot access each other's accounts. We can notice the different user groups with which the different team members are linked. These groups allow us to assign rights to each user. A manager will, for example, be able to cancel a ticket while our staff level will not have this right. A list of rights is available and can be configured from the back office for each group. Let's click on Jess's account to get to the order taking screen. The left hand side is our order summary area. The middle is where our main screens are and the right hand side shows the subscreens or items. Order taking in direct sales mode. Let's take a few orders that reflect everyday scenarios. First, we will take an order at the counter. We will serve customers who decide to order two beers, a milkshake and a soft drink. We can now collect payment for this order. To make service faster, you can add quick payment buttons on your screen, as shown with the LS Pay button. You can also add other payment methods like cash as a quick payment button. The LS Pay button can be linked with your card terminal, which immediately sends the amount to the terminal itself. If you're using our integrated Lightspeed Payments Terminal, simply click the Payment method, which will allow you to automatically trigger the amount on the terminal without manual input. This will make it quicker to use your EPOS terminal, avoid input errors and also provide you with detailed reports that allow you to seamlessly track the movement of your transactions from within the Lightspeed back office. I will finish this order with my quick payment button LSPay. This now takes me back to our opening screen, which is handy when more than one member of staff is using the same device. This can of course be set so that you stay on the order screen. Just lock the padlock next to the username at the top of the screen. When we select Takeaway, this will automatically assign an order number to this ticket. The Takeaway profile can of course be set as your main profile if the business is mainly Takeaway. For this order, I'm adding two coffees, selecting Espresso. We are now ready to process the payment for the customer. This time, my customer wants to pay with a gift card. So I click the green Pay button and select the Gift Card option in the middle. When I click the Pay button, the iPad camera activates and we can scan the customer's QR code on the phone. If you prefer, you can connect a socket scan S740 to scan the QR codes and even the barcodes of the products you sell. If you would like to learn more about our gift cards and loyalty options, please watch our Lightspeed K-Series loyalty video on our YouTube channel. Let's now look at how we can place an order for deliveries. A customer calls to place an order. We select our order profile the same way, but this time the delivery option. The customer orders the beef burger deal, so I select that option from my menu. I get to choose the burger, fries and a drink and add this to the order. Our solution also allows for automatic combo recognition. When an order is typed in using the individual menu items and these items form a combo, the software will detect them and ask you if you want to make it a combo or leave it as such. Now that this is all selected, I just need to add the customer to the order by clicking on the Assign Customer button next to the delivery profile. 
We can either select an existing customer or create a new customer profile. I'll select one, check that the details are correct and then link the account to the order. I confirm the order and it is sent to the kitchen. We can also configure the POS that the cashier is asked to select the order profile before every payment. For more information on how to integrate online delivery platforms with Lightspeed K-Series, please refer to our Lightspeed delivery video. This is also relevant for our Dark Kitchen customers, who would like to use this checkout system for central order management and reporting. Let's take a quick look at our receipts for the day. You can find them by clicking on the Receipts button at the bottom right. All receipts of the day will be displayed here. After the fiscal closure, the receipts will be accessible in your back office. The actions you can take here are depending on the user rights. Click on the green button to see the available options. If you wish to cancel this receipt, for example, you're presented with a list of reasons for cancellation. This reason will then be recorded in your reports with all related information, such as the user, device, time, receipt ID, items, price and reason. You can also find your key figures and your X report by going to the settings and then reports. You can either check out your daily numbers on screen or print a report. You also find a tab called support where you can see the phone number of the technical support team as well as all the information about your iPad. Let's move on to the back office. Lightspeed K-Series is a cloud system, so you can access your back office from anywhere at any time. When you log in, you're presented with the home page. This page summarizes your key figures, such as sales for the current day, average tickets, top sales, etc. It is also from this page that you can access the Help Center. This is accessible from the Help button on the top right. Now, let's have a look at the reports. Via the menu on the left hand side, you have access to the report section. When you click on it, you will see two options, dashboard and reports. Dashboard. The dashboard is a great overview of your sales. It is an introduction to your reports and this section allows more visual data. You will find the total number of tickets, the net total, total taxes and the gross total. All of these boxes also contain a percentage change in the figure if you decide to compare one period to another. The graph shows these figures and changes according to the filters. Overview of reports. In the section below, it is also possible to have an overview of the reports with three distinct sections. The products, the departments and the employees, generating the most revenue. Let's move on to the page dedicated to reports. The reports are organized by separate families. Let's take a look at some of them. The sales reports include various summaries such as the business reports. This page will give you an overview of the product groups you have sold, which we call accounting groups. The types of payment, a breakdown of taxes, your notes and additional information about your items. Your reports can be filtered again for the week, month, year or for custom periods from the top right panel. It is also possible to create different sales periods to have data by time slots. To see your takeaway sales or delivery orders, click on the Account Profiles tab. This will give you detailed information about the figures for each of your delivery channels. Your products report details the items that you have sold during a defined period, in amounts and quantities. If you wish to see the items which you did not sell, click on All Products and the unsold items will appear in grey. The Product Mix report is one of the most customizable. It is possible to filter the data by the time frame of your choice. Different views are also available, such as by accounting groups, account profiles, categories or products. It is possible to filter by device or by staff member, but above all, the Edit Table button allows you to manage the arrangement of the columns. This report gathers all the essential data. It is possible to put side by side more than 19 columns. The hourly performance report will give you a comparison based on your results and the average revenue per ticket including and excluding VAT. You can also check the results by staff member in the staff report and see the tips received by each. The device report shows you the same information depending on the device that processed the transactions. For the financial data, go to the fiscal report section where you will find the fiscal report or Z report, 
fiscal summary, shift reports and cash drawer report. If you need to search for receipts for auditing purposes, for example, select the receipt report and filter for a specific time period at the top right. You can order the columns or filter by using the search bar. All receipts will have a number and the list of the actions that were taken when the order was placed. A report summarizing the cancellations and corrections gives you details such as the user who made the cancellation, the ticket or item, the date, the reason and the device on which the action was taken. If you manage several outlets, consolidated reports will be available. In this section you will find aggregated data in a group view with the business, product, discount per item reports as well as data related to tax. In your consolidated products report, you will have a breakdown of all products sold by site, allowing you to compare them for any selected period. If you opt for our Lightspeed payment solution, you will have dedicated transaction and settlement reports with an overview of all completed transactions on one site and a settlement part that will group all movements that have been captured and deposited into your bank account on the other. Our reports can be exported in CSV, PDF or Excel format. You can also automate the sending of reports by email. To do this, click on the Configuration tab, then Settings and Automated Reports. From this page, you can choose the desired report, its frequency of sending, the recipients and the file format. The report will be sent automatically by email after the end of day. If you are interested to learn more, visit our Help Center, Video Library or get in touch with us. We are happy to assist. Have a nice rest of the day. Bye!